Hi friends, this is Pastor Harley with Broadway Global Methodist Church. I'd like to share with you today a devotion out of uh, Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. And um, this verse, of course, would be included if you're reading through the Bible with the church this year and you got a good start in January, you'll be reading Genesis 1, and 3, 1 2, and 3 today. Uh, but these verses read, And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God, had, God created the great sea creatures and every living creature that moves, with which the waters swarm according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Now, a uh, verse like that, it, it comes as familiar to some of us because, uh, well, we, we've read the creation story before. The six days of creation, and on the seventh God rested, and God carefully preparing a world in which we can know him in which he uh, will be known by us in love and worship, where we time and place where we can encounter him and have relationship with him. And also, uh, the, so this world is first created as a vast temple for people to know God through. And also that we can know about God through the beauty and the order of his creation. But there's, if we say all that, there's some exuberance we miss. Let the waters swarm with living creatures and then let the air have flocks of, of, of birds across the expanse of the earth and God made great sea creatures creatures of, of uh, just to, to every era when men have met the largest creatures in the sea they've been in awe and then sea creatures that swarm with an abundance that we that we cannot even know and flocks of birds visualize for yourself those large flocks of birds that fly you know, God could have been satisfied with barren worlds. There are many barren worlds in our solar system, which uh, must have their purpose and use for God. But he not only made us living beings and gave life to this earth, but he does so in a fashion just to overwhelm and, and, and give more and more than whatever, what even seems necessary. God is exuberantly glad over his creation, and he is excited about you. Live for him today. Amen.